Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so today is Thursday, September 12th. It is 4.52. I got back from work not too long ago and then I made dinner. Um, basically all I made was a chicken quesadilla. So I got the whole grain or whole wheat tortilla, low carb. Put three ounces of chicken in there with mushrooms and fat free cheese. So. In case y'all wanted to try that. So, anyways, guys, I wanted to give you guys a little update on how I've been doing. Because my last video, I didn't really talk much at all. Um, just because of the past videos, I feel like I've been talking a lot. If you like getting these updates, let me know. I will continue to do them. Um, I just feel like once where people are talking a lot, it, it kind of bores me. But at the same time, if it's interesting, um, I actually like watching people talk about their um, improvement season, how they're feeling and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, let me know if you guys don't like me talking or if you guys like me talking about my physique updates and how I'm feeling and what I'm doing, um, I will continue to do those. I just wanna go a little into how I've been. It is a month since my competition, which is crazy because it feels like it's way longer than that since my competition time flies but it's been a month and I'm sitting at 120 pounds so, so when I first started my competition prep I was around 125 126 um, and then during prep I dropped all the way down to 111 111 pounds so that's the lowest I've ever weighed, and um, I'm back to 120. I'm not back to 125, but I'm at, well, sitting at 120. And um, the last update I got from my coach, he wanted to kind of keep my macros the same. Um, so right now I'm pretty high in carbs, way higher than I was intaking before my prep. And I'm still sitting at a lower weight, which is great to me. Um, so I'm definitely getting in a lot of food, a lot more food and um yeah guys it's hard like it really is hard gaining weight back 
especially when you've worked so hard to get so lean. Um, obviously, I preach that stage weight is not healthy, which I will continue to say that and mean it because it is not healthy, guys. Um, I was mentally just miserable. <laughs> Um, physically miserable, uh, but it's just not, it's not healthy guys. It, it does not mean that it's any easier, um, gaining weight back. Uh, just, you know, seeing my abs gone, um, just the tone definition in my shoulders, my arms gone. My vascularity is not so much anymore. I still have a little bit, but yeah guys it's just like all the little things and you know i look in a mirror and i'm kind of hard on myself and i sometimes don't want to look at myself um i'm getting completely real with you guys um and guys by no means am i saying i am fat at all but it's hard when you see yourself go from that lean to slowly just gaining weight back and just not seeing all the lines that I had before, or all the muscle tone that I had before, gone. So it is hard and, you know, I did have like a mental breakdown last week. I went to go send my last actual physique update that I sent my coach, like when I was taking the pictures, I kind of had like a mental breakdown because I just, I didn't want to take the pictures. I didn't want to look at myself. I was like, how can I have gained all this weight back? Like, I was just not happy with what I look like. And it's kind of pathetic because, I mean, I don't look bad. I'm not fat. It's just so mental, guys. It's so, it mentally fucks with you. <laughs> um, but you know i have my ups and my downs uh sometimes i'm completely happy and i'm like i feel so much better like i'm eating so much more my workouts are so much better my butt's coming back finally um because i lost basically all of it um but my butt's coming back so it's like there's definitely a lot of positives and just thinking that when i keep in mind the reason for this and in taking more calories and eating more is to obviously not only feel better but to grow and that's really is what's been helping me get through this period is knowing that i'm doing this for a reason and i'm not just gaining weight and you know don't have any future plans like my future plan is to grow i want to grow muscle and the only way i'm gonna do that is by gaining weight and so that kind of keeps me on track and another thing is i during the time that i was breaking down sending my pictures to my coach um i was on my period so i got my period back guys so I missed my period. So I haven't had my period for two months, basically. Um, and then when I got off prep, I'm like, okay, well, when I increase calories and stuff like that, I'm gonna get it again. Um, and I was kind of waiting for it, waiting for it, and the time passed where I was technically supposed to get it. So basically what my coach told me to do was to have two whole eggs a day, um, take fish oil and uh, some kind of red meat at least three times a week. So once I started doing that, like a week later, two weeks later, um, I got my period. So that was good news. I'm very happy that I got it because that means my hormones aren't as messed up as I thought they were and everything slowly but surely leveling out. I do want to go um, get my blood drawn just to make sure everything's okay, especially after a diet like I did for prep. Um, your hormones and your blood levels are going to be not the best. I got my cycle back, so I was very happy about that, but not having my cycle for two months and then getting it, that was one of the toughest periods I have ever had. The first three days were oh, freaking horrible, like horrible. This time it was so freaking bad. Um, I had to miss work and I called off. 
um i was so so bloated i was inflamed i i like i just could feel my stomach like it felt like a balloon and when i would touch it it was very hard to the touch it like i was guys this might be too much information but for you ladies who might be going through the same thing might be curious about any of this i was constipated so guys sorry if you guys don't think that girls go to the bathroom but i was constipated as fuck and like i could feel it i could just feel i was holding everything and it was just bloating up i just <laughs> this sounds so gross i felt like shit basically and it wasn't fun at all and um and it was very heavy so with that being said i am glad that um it is almost over and i my the swelling and inflammation went down um not constipated anymore obviously um and yeah everything is kind of going back to normal all good there now thank goodness but yeah guys i kind of just wanted to fill you in on those few topics because they are pretty important especially if you are somebody doing prep or doing prep for the first time curious about doing prep and side effects that it might have um and just the whole mental game with prep because even though prep is over it still fucks with you like it'll fuck with you mentally and that's what it's happening and that's what's happening to me right now but you guys like i said I have my ups and my downs so um like today i feel good yesterday i felt pretty good i was in the gym and i felt confident in my body i'm super excited about growing and gaining muscle um and i can't wait to just like i'm gonna continue to push hard as hell um i've been pushing I, i've been pushing hard as hell in the gym um, especially with all this energy that I have, it's been absolutely amazing and I've been sore which I kind of stopped getting sore for a while before prep but like I feel like I'm pushing so hard now that I'm starting to get sore again and um, yeah I just I love this feeling of that I'm still working my ass off for something like I'm still pushing for a reason. I'm super excited to just fucking kill this improvement season and go on that next stage and see see my new package because that's that's what pushes me guys um and thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments and messages as always because you guys make my day thank you thank you so much i love you guys so much as always thank you so much for your support i'm thinking about doing like a nutri or raise giveaway uh, so let me know if you guys want in on that um i'm probably gonna do it here on youtube or i might do it on my instagram which i will put right down here so go follow my instagram in case i end up doing it on there maybe i'll do it on both who knows yeah let's fucking let's fucking do this let's kill this off season um today's my friday i'm getting probably getting a tattoo tomorrow um we will see but if I do, I know what I'm gonna get and I will show you guys. It's gonna be very small. I'm all about small tattoos, that's my jam. Um, if you know me, I have like three pretty small ones. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys even though it's small, but it's gonna be cute and yeah. Um, anyways, so love you guys and I will talk to you guys later.